everybody welcome back if you're new here my name is Kim and if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much for coming back now then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hoop a baby onesie all right so here's my baby onesie right these ones aren't quite aren't very stretchy so this will this will be ideal to test on as well I've got these here and I've also got this here which is more stretchy um, totally different brands um, we'll have a go at the less stretchy one first because this is going to be the one that's more difficult and um, we're not going to actually hoop it we're going to float it because really that is going to be the best option to do a onesie um, so right without further ado I'm going to get on with the job at hand and after that, I'm also going to be stitching out something on this onesie, and that will be in the next video. So, I hope you'll join me for that one, and see you in a minute. So, first of all, I'm going to get some stabiliser. Take a make sure your hoop is loose. And get some stabiliser. Now then, now mine comes round this way. It'll go on the machine that way around. So pop that over like that. And we're gonna hoop this now. Right. Uh, make sure that's nice and hooped. It's quite taut. And do your thumb screw up. that done so there we have our stabilizer it's quite nice smooth and hooped well now we're going to get our onesie and what we're going to do is we're going to turn it inside out okay open up your bottom piece all right as well so now it's inside out now that is the front so what you want to do is you want to lay that down onto the stabilizer so that the back is facing you and then what we want to do is we want to find our center points okay now the best way to do this your best bet is to find your center point right let's have a go we'll pop the uh, heat press on a minute okay so the heat press is on okay and I'm using my Cricut heat press, all right? And to find the center point, what you want to do is you want to fold your onesie in half, okay? So that it's fold your onesie in half, and then we're going to press along here. Bring that over and I'm just going to give that a press. Okay, there we go. So we've got our center line going down there. Bring this back over. Now I'm going to lay the front down onto the stabilizer. And what you want to do is you want to line up that center mark with your center point here. So we're gonna, but we're gonna bring that up because I want my design to come about here. And I wanna bring this up. And you can also match it with the center point down here as well. Okay. There. And what I'm gonna do is uh, make sure that that's exactly where I want my thing to be. I'm gonna bring it down just a sliver more. And then you're going to get some pins okay i've got these flat head pins and you're going to basically you won't want to pin it right here because it won't stretch up there so you want to pin it as close to the design as you can so that we can pull all this back so what you do is stick some pins in you know. Yeah. 
but all the while making sure that centre line is down, matching with that centre line down there. Okay. And then come up here, put a few more pins in up here. Same for this side. If you go gently, then everything should be fine. over here and try and get in as close to that edge as you can it's not always easy to pop these pins in because you've got to be careful you don't move the stabilizer and obviously make sure you don't prick your fingers Right, so this is where you need to be at your machine so that you can keep a check on this. You don't want to be leaving it. Um, so there we have a hooped onesie, all right? Or should I say it's floated. You can see my center line is going down there and it meets with this little point up here. Same as at the top here. And I'm wondering, that's not really too low down for my design. I think that's about right. It looks odd because the back is facing me. So, right. So now what we want to do is we want to pop that onto the machine. Okay. Turn that around. And there we have it. So now you should be able to provide you you must keep an eye you can clip some of this back but because it's a small baby onesie i mean this one here is only let me have a look this one is i think it's 12 months let's have a look it's actually six months this one here is a six month old so the bigger they are the easier it's going to be but that is basically how you do it and then you just make sure obviously you don't want to stitch your fingers but you just make sure that everything's out the way whilst it's stitching and really that's it so if you want to see how this turns out watch the next video and you'll see how it all goes um so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video yeah see how this turns out but like I said, the bigger the onesie, the easier it's going to be to pull all that stuff out of the way. So you've got more room to work with. Um, that's how I do it anyway. Okay. Some onesies you could possibly, I mean, if you've got like an 18-month-old or 24-month-old, you can actually hoop them and then pull them back over like you would with a T-shirt. But it's down to preference at the end of the day. You can float your T-shirts as well. And to be honest with you, I think floating is probably the better way to go when you are using a single needle embroidery machine if you're using a multi needle and you're using mighty hoops it's easy so much easier but single needles you've got to be that little bit more uh what do you call it um a little bit more cautious when we're putting things onto our <coughs> machines and now i'm talking about a rubbish as usual and you know what i haven't worn my glasses in making the whole of this video which is a first for me right thank you for watching i will see you in the next video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and have a look back through my other videos it doesn't cost anything to subscribe it's all free 
Um, and if you want to see the videos, all the videos I've done, just click on videos at the top of my page and it will bring everything down for you. There we go. And if you don't want to search through, through all my videos, then you can go to my playlists and then that. Some of them haven't been put into playlists yet though, so bear that in mind. Not very many, but some of them. Anyway, I'm going to go and get on with this next video. See you in the next one. Bye!